I have plenty of test subjects here, after all. Surely, no one will miss a few dozen wounded soldiers. <laughs> when my new toxic weapon is ready, I'll go around that Swordmaster and paddle my wares to the Eternian forces directly. If my father knew of your deeds, that fat neck of yours would be for the act, you know. What? Who, who's that? My name is Adia Lee. Adia Lee? You, you mean to say you are the Grand Marshal's daughter? I've heard more than enough of your plotting, you black-hearted fiend. Prepare to die. Be quiet! The words of a traitor like you mean nothing!
Not end here. I have left so many experiments undone. My <coughs> toxins could kill you in seconds. <coughs> Festal.
I made the right call drinking that concoction to fake my death. It seems the Vestal was convinced of my demise. <laughs> the world is indeed full of fools. <laughs> now, 
It is time I left this wretched place. So you flee again, do you? But, but of course! I do what I must to survive! By any means necessary. As long as I survive, I am confident my fortunes will be reversed. <laughs> After all, who but I can create weapons with the power to kill tens of thousands in one fell blow? And once I am ready, I will obliterate you all! The sword bearers and shield bearers, the vestal, and even the black blades! And, and then the world shall be! Oh. Mine? Uh. <laughs> uh. Not the world of the living. Right. Hear, hear. It's not like Tiz to go out on a limb like that. But we survived, and that's what counts. The Vestal. <clears throat> he must be exhausted. He's sound asleep. You did well to carry him on your back all this way, Tiz. You must be tired, too. I'm fine. More importantly, this boy may know of a way into the Temple of Fire. We should ask him now. Don't you agree, Agnes? I do, if that is true. First, let's head to Commander Goodman's residence and give the boy a chance to rest. Hey, 
Nico, you're alive. Do you know this boy? His parents were part of our household guard. They lost their lives three years ago protecting my husband. We hadn't heard from Egil since then. To think that he had been forced to work in the Mithril Mine. Mrs. Goodman, could we ask you to look after Egil here for a while? We can't take him with us where we're going. Yes, of course. <clears throat> He's awake! Where am I? I... I... I have to... to hurry! Hurry... where? The Fire Vestal asked me to help. I have to go. Where is this? Where am I? Wait, Eagle! Thank you for rescuing me, but I have to go back to the Mithril Mine. We've recaptured the mine from the sword bearers. You don't have to work there anymore. All your friends have been freed. I still have to go back. Go back where? Does this have something to do with the Fire Vestal, Ego? That's right. Did you meet her? No, I've never met her before, but I sometimes see her in my dreams. I really do. She always seems sad and tells me, go to the deepest tunnel. Lead the wind there. Ah, uh, the wind? The deepest tunnel? Does it lead somewhere? Yes. Who are you? She is the wind vessel. What? That means... This tunnel may lead into the Temple of Fire. Even in death, it seems the Fire Vestal is trying to fulfill her duty through Egil's dreams. I must see this done. I must. Egil, show me the way to this tunnel. Got it! Leave it to me! Wait! Egil's in no state to go anywhere. Why do you object, Tiz? Because it's dangerous. Tiz, how is Egil? He's asleep at last. Idea is with him now. Agnes and Eri are in a hub. We couldn't let Egil take them into the mine. It's too dangerous. Hmm. You know, ever since we found Egil, you've stopped having your nightmares, Tiz. Huh? Really? I'll leave Egil in your capable hands. Understood. Be careful out there. Where is Egil now? He's holed up in his room. He won't let anyone in. We can't take him with us. Even so. No matter. I questioned him thoroughly about the location of this passageway. Let's set out then.
Hmm? Ego? Uh, what are you doing here? told you not to follow us <sighs> are you listening to me Ego? but i'm the only one who knows how to open up the way through what you have to squeeze into a really tight hole to open up the way through you'd never be able to fit not in a million years you said nothing about this back at the house you tricked us I didn't trick you. I just left that part out. It's the same thing! Anyway, I'm small enough to fit through a silly little hole. But you're too tiny to move the stone lever that opens the passage up. What stone lever? You didn't say anything about that! Nope, I didn't. Well, we'll have to take Eggle with us now. That's the only way to awaken the crystal. We can't do that! What if he gets hurt? No need to yell at Anya, Tiz! What are you so upset about? I... What do you propose then, Tiz? Will you make him go back by himself? I wouldn't do that. We'll go back with him. What if the sword bearers or black blades beat us to the temple? Ego was just attacked by the enemy, right? He was held prisoner by them before as well. They may already be aware of this passage you found. But... I believe we should focus on the task of awakening the crystal. Exactly! To cleanse the darkness from this world, we must accept some risk and some sacrifices. Never! What are you saying, Eri? I don't want anyone to be sacrificed. I won't allow it! What then? You have been impossible lately, Tiz. You are trampling upon the will of Egil, the late fire vessel, and me. As a vessel, I cannot let you do this. Do not interfere with my mission. H hey, both of you need to calm down. He reminds me of my little brother who died. Till. What? When that chasm opened up and Norende was swallowed by darkness. My little brother, about the same age as Ego, he fell along with it, right before my eyes. I couldn't save him. I couldn't hold on to Till's hand any longer. The look on his face as he stared back at me and fell into that black pit hasn't left my mind ever since. The same goes for the water vestal. It was agony. Watching her life fade in front of me. I couldn't bear to watch Anyas cling to her and weep. I've seen enough death to last a lifetime. That's why I don't want to lead Egil into peril. Even if it is to deliver the world from danger. Hmm. Then why don't you try to stop Agnes from facing danger, Tiz? Because I know that no matter what, Agnes would just go off on her own. And 
I promised Anyas that I'd stay at her side. To be there. To protect her. Tis... Well, there's your answer. Huh? What do you mean? We'll go together with Ego. Tis will protect him. We all will. Right? <sighs> Please, let me go! I want to see the Fire Vestal's wishes carried out! You win. But you're not to go wandering off without us, okay, Egil? Got it! Thanks! Uh, um... Huh? What? Never mind. It's nothing. Let's move on. Be careful, okay? I will. I know this place like the back of my... <gasps> Whoa! What? <laughs> A big piece of mithril ore! This isn't the time for that, Eagle. You've got to stay with me, okay? Oh, come on! Finding this can mean the difference between eating or not, you know. It's a precious find! <sighs> Let it go, Egil. The war will be over soon. Then you won't have to worry about finding Mithril anymore. Wow! Now that I look at it more closely, I think this is Ore Kalkum. Amazing! When we find some of this, we get eggs with our dinner. <laughs> it's my lucky day! Oh.
We're here! This is the place! There's a stone lever at the back of this narrow hole! Just a second! He wasn't kidding. Only Edel or Eric could fit down there. Okay, here I go! 